What's up, peeps? How's it going? Oh, yee. It's my new theme tune. Okay. So. Oh, God, I'm, I'm a bit late. Everyone's starting without me. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Today, we are using the Scottish Resistance. A gun I've never really properly used for more than 10 minutes, say. Blimey, they're really pushing. And I'm just going to try and play around with it, compare it to what I usually use. And, um, you know, see how it feels, basically. So yeah, I wanted to make sure I was on a fairly defensive map before I tried it out, because obviously it is a defensive weapon, and it's I, not much good in attack, I wouldn't have thought. But, you know, I can test it out in attack too, why not? Now, already I'm struggling here, because... Oh, see that one? Oh yeah! So basically, this the drawback is it's got a 0.8 an additional 0.8 seconds of arm time, of you know, of prime time on the actual bombs. And that doesn't sound like much, but it actually is a complete and utter age. So, um, I'm finding it really, look, I can't use them yet because they're not armed. Okay, now they're armed and he's gone, he's miles off. So basically, the idea of this weapon is, you know, it's fairly obvious, but it's, it's all about setting traps. Um, setting traps, I guess, well in advance. So I might, for example, want to put one here, and then if anyone comes up there, I can um, kill them quite easily, and then maybe put one by the cart, and if anyone goes on the cart, I can kill them easily too. This isn't obviously news to anyone because, you know, this gun's been around for ages, but I thought it was everything on your screen, but no, it's actually, look, it only lights up when it's, you know, that far away, which I think is, in, is, is pretty, I don't know. I guess the good thing about that is, you can get a lots of different traps down but if you want to quickly detonate one you've got to really remember where they are uh oh did I make it? Ooh. Ooh. that was... that was fine because I play quite aggressively I really need to just chill out a second with this gun and just stick back and like look at the car and you know do my job which is pretty much that right click when everyone anyone stands on it but I'm just too, like, I just want to get in there. Hi there. How you doing? Alright, mate. Chill out. Oh, I bounced him out there. He's got to be getting that health, surely. Flappy muck. Flap fishes. Get him one. So, yeah, I think you've got to be more kind of, I don't know, like, precious with your traps if, like you have to know where they are and like kind of hide them more I guess if there's ever a time I should be defensive it's when you've got 20 seconds left come on nails, there were nails everywhere damn you have we done it? I think we done it they're still giving it a good go bless them Nice. Crap, I forgot to put traps down again. It's all your fault. Stop. You're distracting me. Okay, we've got one good trap. Which is covering there. Oh, what a trap it was! Let's have a look. Anyone want to walk over my mines? Oh, I kind of do. Now! Oh! <laughs> Now, so far, everything I've done could easily be done with just a sticky, you know, the regular sticky launcher. Because I'm not using it very well. I'm not putting my second kind of trap down. Like it. And then one on the cart. Like it. Now I've got two traps, alright? So we're learning things. Now, you know when you roll people, and there's like the team being rolled, and then there's like the other team? I feel like we're on that team. Come on, what? Buttes. What, that trap? Still active, mate, because I used the Scottish Resistance. It was totally worth it. Are you a spy? Can I test if you're a spy? 
No, he, he, good. Like it. The classic swipe midair to say I'm not a spy. That's a shame because it was. You know, I was feeling it. Yep. Oh, I missed. Okay, so that was annoyingly easy, unfortunately. You know. Big fat trap going up. Oh yeah. Big fat trap. <laughs> I forgot you had to look at them again. That keeps happening. That's a thing. Okay, let's retreat a bit. Let's uh Alright, he's going down. He's just What's he doing with his little pokey stick? Yeah, put it away, sunshine. Come on, oh damn, I didn't look at the trap again. I was like a centimetre away. So we've got nine minutes to defend. I can't imagine that being a problem. Wait for that to arm itself. Do a little sticky jump. This could work, defending up here. I mean... Make sure I'm looking at it. I like double, triple checked I was looking at it. This feels like one of the most vulnerable routes in on on uh, this oh hello on this map. So I do like to defend up here quite a lot. This is the this is it. This is a good right. See trap there, trap there. This is how you use this gun. I just have to flick round and press the button. If I see any bad people. Just wait for the bad people again. Oh hello, sneaky cheeky. Right, another popple jump. It's nice that you can popple jump and not have to blow up all your stickies, okay? I'll give it that. I just notice the sticky bombs, as you see them through a wall, they only spawn in like at a certain distance. I don't know how far that is, but you know. They're not it's not infinite. Good to know. Top tip of the day, right? Oh crap, we actually might lose this. Okay, hiding behind a pillar strat. Not necessarily the best. No! No! All the noises. Oh, Goldie Rushy, how I love you so. Alright, what's going on? Boom! When you're at, you know, the very beginning of a match, and you're trying to defend the spawn exits, that's when uh, it's kind of makes some sense, because there are literally just two or three holes which the entire team have to, have to get through. Is anyone going to come? In the moment I look round, someone's going to shoot me in the back of the head. Anyone? Anyone coming? Oh, there we go! I only had to wait uh, 25 minutes for, to kill that one scout, so that's worked out quite well. Right now I'm doing things that I could very easily do with my regular sticky bomb launcher. But I've got that trap behind me. That's the difference, alright? So, so take note, baby. The, uh, the sticky bombs seem to fly all over the gap, that's also another problem, like, you set a lovely trap, you really have to hide it because they're just going to fly all over the gap, whereas normally I just put one down and I'm not too precious about it, you know, I just put one down. See, that was, right then I could have killed them with a regular sticky bomb launcher. Right, screw it, I'm going to, ah! Love you. Ah, 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 I'm stuck on a pyro! <laughs> made it. I think it's one of those guns that really does demand an absolutely different playstyle and it's just it's just so different to what I want to be doing in this game. And it's very situational as, as is usually, usually the case. I'm getting shot in the back of the head. Oh crap. And, I, and for me, after playing with it for a day, it feels like every situation I'm using this in 
a sticky, you know, a regular sticky bomb launcher can do just as well, if not better. You know, so it's an odd one. And I am trying to put myself in situations where this should sort of shine. Oh, hello. Hello there. Don't mind if I do. Please, I need some enemies. That was a nice, nice random hit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed me moaning at you for a, a, like an, a 10 minutes just about how much I don't like this gun. <laughs> I'm sure there are lots of people who can use it a lot better than I can. Um, but it's just not for me. It really does not. Oh, again! I promise you, I do not know this medic. I haven't paid him any money. But, um. Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, you're so lucky! You're so lucky! But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. A, a few quick thank yous, if I may, uh, to Juicebox, ILT, and Lord Osman for their very generous gifts, and I very much appreciate that. Uh, I'll show them on the screen now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs> Good. Good to have some squeaky people shouting random things down the microphones. What's that? Say again. Hello, Flash. I'm Vicente Mintami. Ah, see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, no, I totally agree, mate.